You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, oh my goodness. Yes, we're going to be talking about LeBron James, LaChana James in this video because LeBron James now, the most despicable person probably in the history of the NBA, and he is the godfather of the Marxist NBA of China, as we call it here on this channel here. This man is now calling for a NBA announcer to be fired because this NBA announcer made a mistake and it was unintentional. And LeBron James, of course, you know, LeBron James has never made a mistake before in his life. And this announcer didn't even know he was actually making a mistake. And this all had to do with uh, Kevin Porter Jr. who plays for the Houston Rockets. Now, his name is Kevin Porter Jr. And guys, there was an NBA player named Kevin Porter. And this announcer thought that Kevin Porter Jr.'s father was the NBA player, Kevin Porter. Honest mistake. And let's actually listen to the clip here because the announcer, uh, Glenn Kozar, apologized. But check this out, guys. This is what triggered LeBron James here. And this is the play of Kevin Porter Jr. hitting a bit shot here. Here we go. What a well-designed play. And um, you got to give credit. Kevin Porter Jr., like his dad, pulled that trigger right at the right time. Boy, that one stung. What a... So... They they have it, guys. He actually said that uh, like his father, who he thought was the NBA player, Kevin Porter. Pulled the trigger talking about taking a shot in the NBA. But however, his father was not an NBA player. His father actually was convicted of manslaughter, I believe, for actually um, shooting a uh a 14-year-old girl. Yeah, it says right here, Porter's father, Kevin Porter Sr., pleaded guilty to first-degree manslaughter in the shooting of a 14-year-old girl in 1993. Then someone shot Porter's father dead in 2004 during a bar fight after he was released from prison. So, the announcer made an honest mistake, and he even tweeted this out. I want to sincerely apologize to Kevin Porter and clarify last night's call. Please allow me to take this opportunity to sincerely apologize to Kevin Porter Jr., his family, and the Rockets organization for my comments I made during last night's game. I mistakenly thought that Kevin was the son of former Washington player Kevin Porter and was unaware that the words I chose to describe his game-winning shot would be in any way hurtful or insensitive. I reached out to Kevin to personally apologize and hope to be able to talk to, talk with him soon. Now, he didn't know that um, Kevin Porter Jr.'s father was not Kevin Porter. Now, I guess to LeBron James, he thinks that everybody should know everything about everybody in the NBA. And that's just not possible. It's not. It says here LeBron wants the NBA to fire a local Washington Wizards broadcaster who during a recent broadcast either made a cruel joke or just chose his words very poorly. On Wednesday night, Houston Rockets guard Kevin Porter Jr. hit a game winning buzzer beater to put Houston on top of Washington. Yeah, that actually ended a long losing streak for the Rockets. Uh, during the Wizards broadcast on NBC Sports, analyst Glenn Conser narrated the shot. And we already uh, talked about that right there. But this is what LaChina James had to say about uh, Concert's um, uh, play-by-play analysis of the play. LeBron tweeted this out. Oh, he thought that, that this was cool, huh? Nah, we ain't going for this. Sorry, but this ain't gonna, gonna, gonna be flying. But this ain't... Sorry, but this ain't gonna to fly... 
what what is he saying? Going to okay. Anyway, how insensitive can you be to say something like this? Beat it, man. I pray for you, but there's no place in our beautiful game for you. He is calling this man out and putting him on putting him on blast because guys, honestly, if I was in his um situation, I probably would have thought that his father was Kevin Porter, since his name is Kevin Porter Jr. And I'm pretty sure, you know, LeBron James does not know the family of every single NBA player. Okay, so LeBron James putting this man out on blast right now. I mean, it's just completely insane. But this is not surprising, you know, coming from LeBron James, considering, you know, he likes to race bait everything, of course. And and of course, um, Glenn Consor, Consor, I'm probably mispronouncing his name, too, by the way, is a white man. And we know how LeBron James feels about white people, especially, you know, white police officers, because LeBron James has never done anything wrong in his NBA career. You know, LeBron James has been uh, putting up the good fight for criminals. He has dot stop police officers and there's been no consequences for him. Nobody's been calling him to be uh, fired from the NBA. Of course, he can't be because he's under contract. But you see, LeBron James in his mind is perfect. But this guy is not perfect. And LeBron James, you're not perfect either, man. You're not there's no reason for you to be calling for this man's head. LeBron James is a despicable human being. He is the main reason why the NBA is a dying brand. I mean, it was a bloodbath in the ratings on Christmas Day. The NFL blew the NBA out of the water. When usually Christmas Day is the day when the NBA usually takes charge. And guess what? People said, no, we are tuning out. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans, are you surprised by LeBron James calling for this man's job? I'm not surprised at all because this is who LeBron James is, a despicable human being. Anyway, guys, let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.